Hello everyone, my name is Oshi7 and this is a quick little tutorial on how to maximize your performance in DayZ. Uh, Armor 2 is quite a hard drive dependent game, and you can actually find yourself getting bottlenecked by your hard drive. This isn't something that gamers are used to dealing with, where we expect you know, RAM and uh, graphics cards and processors and all that sort of stuff to be the, the major factors in why our games perform the way they do. But Armor 2 is quite a, quite a strange beast. Uh, your hard drive does make a huge difference, and this is how I actually boosted my frame rates and performance in-game and made DayZ a more enjoyable experience, and well, this is how you do it. The first thing you need to do is download a program called RamDisk. The personal version is free. It allows you to create a virtual hard drive up to 4 gigabytes in space on your uh, on your RAM. But the good thing is, is that DayZ is only 400 megabytes big, so we don't need to create uh, one that big. So go ahead and download it. It's free and it works really well. Once it's all installed, go ahead and launch it. You'll be greeted by this window. It's only a little window and it's very, very simple. Uh, the first thing you want to do is change the disk size to 400 megabytes. That's all we need for this mod. And you also want to make it in a FAT16 partition. This is just temporary, but just do this for now. And go ahead and click on Start RAM Disk. So after you've done that, you get a message from Windows asking to install the new virtual hard drive. Just go ahead and install it. Windows thinks it's a real hard drive, but that's, that's absolutely fine. And then just go to the Load and Save tab on the RAM Disk program. The first thing you want to do is just click uh, the load disk image at startup and save disk image on shutdown tick boxes. This will just make it easier for us. It saves uh, what's in the virtual hard drive to, uh, to a file and that way we don't have to set it up each time. And then you just want to click on save disk image now and this will probably just save somewhere in your C drive. That's absolutely fine. Just save it there. And if we go back to the settings tab, you'll notice that now the partition or hard drive or virtual hard drive, whatever you want to call it, is now unformatted. That's because we're using a disk image and that's absolutely fine. The FAT16 was just temporary just, just, just to start the hard drive up at the beginning. Now if you go to your computer, um, your my computer, sorry, uh, you'll notice that you have a new hard drive. Just go ahead and open it and it'll be a random letter. Mine's G and I'm just going to use G as the example for this tutorial. Uh, so yeah, I'm just using DirectStray's benchmark program, and you can see the write speeds are absolutely amazing. This is more than you can get from an SSD or a HDD in a RAID or anything like that. The, the speeds are incredible. So now we just need to find where the DayZ mod is installed. Mine is installed in this directory, it's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, hopefully yours is installed in the same place, I, I'm not too sure to be honest, but it should be. And just copy it over to the, new, uh, to the new virtual hard drive. It will write really fast, obviously this hard drive performs much better than most HDDs and SSDs. Now what I used to keep DayZ updated is a thing called 6 Updater. My friend Sacreal42 made a very, very good tutorial on how to, how to install this and how to use it. There's a link in the description for that. But all you need to do is just create a desktop uh, folder shortcut. Uh, this will just create a shortcut on your desktop, obviously. And then we'll use that to launch the game into the mod. Now, last thing is just to right-click the shortcut and go to Properties. You'll be greeted by this window, and just change the end of the target just to tell the shortcut where to go to load the mod. And this is pretty much it. This is done. Uh, you can go ahead and launch the game now, and you should get a significant performance increase from doing all this. Uh, I got a huge boost to my frame rate, and I didn't get the stuttering. And The stuttering was really annoying, and, and now that's gone. So you don't need to keep RAM disk open all the time. You can close it when you need to. Because we have a disk image saved uh, on on shutdown and start up, that means that every time you start RAM disk, it will just load it. It will just put the DayZ stuff in there. Unfortunately, every time you do update using six update, you need to go ahead and copy the new DayZ files over into the virtual hard drive, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, go ahead and launch it and have fun. Kill some zombies.